Welcome back to our High Five, where we're gonna celebrate five awesome things that God is doing through the life of One Church. So let's jump into it. Up at number five, Leah and John attended the Concord Outpost this past Sunday and decided that they were ready to respond to what God was calling them to do and be baptized. They claimed the truth that their identity is in Christ and we're all celebrating that with them today. High five, you guys. Up at number four, we cannot serve both God and money. So are we using God to serve money or are we using money to serve God? As we move into our new series, Don't Say That in Church, 12 new givers visited church.one slash give and set up reoccurring giving this past week. They're trusting him in financial giving and that deserves a big high five today. Here at number three, the Rooted Journey is coming to a close as groups finish up week 10 of 10 and prepare to celebrate together next week. They've spent time experiencing the power of prayer, serving, sharing life stories, and drawing nearer to the person of Jesus together. High five to all you Rooted participants. We're praying for you as you continue to grow in your relationship with Jesus. In at number two, our worship staff took to Simply Worship, a conference filled with worship and training for band and tech teams, where they led in times of worship and hosted a panel where many came to discuss and learn about reaching the most people in the shortest time. High five to building habits and attitudes that draw us close to God, His people, and His mission. And finally, up at number one, we're celebrating the three baptisms the Bedford Outpost experienced this past Sunday. High five to Mason, Sabrina, and Colette. We're so excited for how God will continue to move in and through you. Thanks for joining us for our high five, and I can't wait to celebrate with you in the next one.